Earth is the only planet that can sustain life, but the origins of life came all the way from space. The first forms of life began about 3.8 billion years ago. If you like geography, animals, or anything related to those two, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. And don't hesitate to hit hard. The world was formed a long time ago. And to figure out how this happened, we will go back in time about 4.6 billion years ago. Earth was formed some 4.6 billion years ago as a crusty fireball with constant lava eruptions. The air was toxic, so no life could sustain. What cooled the Earth was surprising. Comets and asteroids constantly battered the Earth and brought havoc by tearing its surface part by part. But they brought water to the Earth. It was key to support life and to cool down this new hot planet. After one million years of a continuous downpour of rain, oceans formed, and so did rivers and lakes. About 3.8 billion years ago, life began as small, probably microscopic creatures. These life forms might have lived near underwater volcanoes, where they could feed on energy-rich chemicals dissolved in boiling water. Soon after life began, an organism built itself around a cell, becoming bacteria. These were the only forms of life for 3 billion years. That was the Precambrian era, 4.6 to 542 million years ago. During the Cambrian time period, sea life such as Cyclomedusa and Carnia were prevalent. They were invertebrates, or animals without a backbone. Trilobites, the relatives of today's insects and crabs, were dominant during this period. Small shrimp-like creatures were also prevalent during this period. The Cambrian period lasted from 554 to 488 million years ago. The Silurian period was when plants spread onto land about 440 million years ago. Trilobites became increasingly common. The Silurian period lasted from 444 to 416 million years ago. Between the Cambrian and the Silurian periods, the Ordovican period existed. Nothing significant happened during this time, but starfish or sea stars came to life during this time. During the Devonian period, 416 to 358 million years ago, fish the first vertebrates, or creatures with a backbone, came into existence and became increasingly common. After life on land emerged as bacteria, the first land-dwelling life form, it evolved into an air-breathing life form. The thing is, bacteria couldn't breathe air, but created loads of oxygen. After evolving, this life form needed to burn more energy because it needed to find more food. And the source of this energy was oxygen. As for what this creature was, it was a millipede. As surprising as this sounds, millipedes were the first creatures to walk on Earth. They fed on moss-like plants and then again evolved to be the world's first insects. Insects were most common during the Carboniferous 
period from 416 to 358 million years ago. After this came the Permian time period, during which reptile-like creatures called pelicosaurs, like Dimetrodon, ruled the Earth. The Permian period lasted from 299 to 251 million years ago. That was the end of the Paleozoic era. The difference between an era and time periods are not clear. However, what is clear is that time periods are periods of time within an era. The Paleozoic era lasted from 542 to 251 million years ago. The next era is the Mesozoic era, also known as the Age of the Dinosaurs. This era has three time periods, the Triassic, Jurassic and the Cretaceous time periods. The Triassic period was when dinosaurs came into existence as small, tiny reptiles the size of chickens. Dinosaurs weren't widespread at that time, so the main predators were dino-like reptiles called Pastosuchus. They were the size of huge trucks, but they went extinct at the end of the Triassic time period due to climate changes caused by volcanic eruptions. The Triassic time period lasted from 251 to 200 million years ago. Due to the extinction of Pastosuchus, dinosaurs flourished and became the top predators and prey. Famous dinosaurs during this time were Brontosaurus, also known as Brachiosaurus, and Allosaurus. The first birds evolved during this time from Dromaeosaurus, a type of dinosaur. The first bird was Archaeopteryx, a bird that looked like a mix between a dinosaur and a bird. After the Jurassic was the Cretaceous time period. During this time, many famous dinosaurs, such as the T-Rex and Triceratops, lived. After the Cretaceous time period, a giant meteorite struck on the coast of Mexico. The debris from this meteorite clouded the atmosphere and caused a severe cold snap. Since dinosaurs were cold-blooded, they couldn't survive the cold snap and went extinct. Mammals were there with the dinosaurs during the Triassic time period but they were too early to be recognized as the modern day mammals we see today. The first mammals looked like mice and probably laid eggs. However, they had every other key feature of a mammal. The first primates looked more like squirrels than monkeys. These primates had prehensile tails which helped them climb trees. Prehensile tail means a tail that can be used as a third hand which is a gift for most climbers. Before we continue any further, I'd like to tell you why mammals are flourishing. Mammals flourish because dinosaurs weren't there and there were no major predators to mammals. So mammals co-evolved with other mammals. Primates evolved and a few branched off and became the world's first apes. Apes evolved into humans and the first homo ape or human species of ape was Australopithecus which looked more like a monkey than an ape. Australopithecus probably used tools just like most modern humans. After millions of years Australopithecus evolved to be Homo erectus, which was mostly hairless, except for a few strands of hair on the head. 
Over millions of years, Australopithecus evolved into a hairless ape, which was called Homo erectus. Homo erectus went out of Africa into Europe and Asia. Homo erectus knew how to make stone tools. They also probably knew how to make fire. Homo erectus evolved into Neanderthals. Neanderthals were European humans. They went extinct due to modern humans. After this, modern humans evolved from Homo neanderthalensis or Australopithecus and then became the most successful creature on Earth. Many species were hunted to extinction because of humans or us humans. Perhaps they were victims of our success. Humans co-evolved with many other creatures such as dogs, cats, wolves, and the first live-bearing mammals were marsupials, the ancestors of kangaroos. Hyenas started as small weasel-like animals. Dogs, bears, and hyenas all evolved together and had a single common ancestor and it might be very hard to take in so we are going to upload another video this one's about evolution subscribe if you want to be the first one to watch it